Jesus Christ. This lighting does nothing for me. But anywho, um, today I'm here to talk about villains, and I have to agree with Jake. Villains are always far, far more interesting than heroes. And I'm just speaking from an actor's perspective. Oh God, I've, I've played heroes, I've played villains, I've played, you know, third spearsman on the left. And by far, you always have the most fun with villains because they're just completely over the top. And particularly villains from children's stories or comic books because they're just, they're just slimy, wicked, nasty, evil for no reason. Ah, uh, like... If I were born a decade or so sooner, I would have loved Tim Curry's role as the slime monster in Fern Gully. Just, just, I, it, he, he literally oozed evil. Like, and playing the hero's fun too. I mean, everybody likes you, you get the girl, you win, etc., etc. But, you know. Without the villain, there's no story. Without the villain, you know, it's just another average day in the life. The hero needs the villain to be a hero. But the villain needs no one. The villain... Oh. I get all hot under the collar just thinking about the villains. I, I mean, just, I mean, especially in our culture where we emphasize, you know, badasses, doesn't get much more badass than the villains. Ah. Let's see. Awesome villains out there. Ursula. From the Little Mermaid. Come on. Poor unfortunate souls. And then the bitch had the nerve to try to steal her man. Ah! Jafar from Aladdin. And Jafar didn't have to raise his voice. His very presence scared the crap out of you. The evil queen from Snow White. Oh god, like, she's the epitome of diva. Oh, by the way, I, I got the red off today. <laughs> but yeah, she's the epitome of diva. She's like, what? There's someone prettier than me in the world? I'll take care of that. Oh, like, ah, oh, if you, I would love, I would have loved, if I had gone with my psychology major, I would have done, like, my thesis on the psychology of a villain because they're just they're so complex and just amazing ah how how can you root for a punk like spider-man when you have a badass like venom you all saw that movie Come on. You mean to tell me that, you know, Venom didn't make you cream your pants just a little bit? Just a little? Oh, just... You just thinking of awesome villains just makes me want to get up and fuck something. Just... Uh, no lube. <laughs> God, I need to stop before I overexcite myself. But definitely, baby, if you ever have a chance, ditch the hero. He's a loser, little goody goody. Fuck a villain. That's those are the real men. Peace and love.